Hello everyone, welcome to the new video. Today's topic is XLOOKUP. So we have seen VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP till now and today's topic is XLOOKUP. How is XLOOKUP different from VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP? So there are two possibilities. First is, if you insert some column or rows in your data, then your uh, array get distorted because the rows get shifted and in that case you will get the wrong answer in your VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. Second is if you uh, print some invalid data in the search item in the lookup value then it will give you any errors. So for that you have to use if error but if you don't want to use if error you want to reduce your work by just using the lookup function then you can use XLOOKUP. So let's assume we are using over here VLOOKUP and uh, this is the array okay so what we have said that if some column is inserted then yes you can see the price is now shifted to the suites because now the third column is the suites so it is returning a wrong value so to avoid this problem or let's say I am typing pi then it is giving me an error because pi is not in this item list so to avoid this we have to use if error but we want to cut short we want to reduce our work so in that case we can use xlookup so let's see how to use xlookup function so First of all, I have to delete this. So let's assume pi only. Okay, so the lookup value is pi. Then coming to the lookup array, we have to search pi in this list. Okay, and what we is return array, the price list. So this is the price list. It will search for pi and it, the corresponding price will be printed over here. Now, if not found, so if the value if the lookup value is not found then what you have to write is invalid data and pressing enter and it is showing invalid data because pi is not in our list let's uh, put some valid data it is putting so here you can see we just have to select the price list we don't have to select whole ad table array so this cut short our problems very well and uh, can be very very useful so let's assume there is another case in which we want the rating also to be printed over here so in that case we have to use two way lookup or use one lookup and then stretch it but if we use x lookup then our work will be very short so let's assume we are using x lookup lookup value is cake and you have to find lookup value in this array then the return array you can select like this okay and if not found you can say not found pressing enter you can see 250 and 4.5 and uh, let's assume donut it's here let's put some invalid data pi not found so this was all about xlookup so keep practicing and you will gain expertise on all the lookup functions meet you in next video with some another topic hope you find this video helpful if so do subscribe to the channel like share comment and please give me your feedback thank you so much for watching this video thank you